You know what? A show that I was kind of late on, but I really quite enjoyed was Vikings. Uh, I, I, I wasn't watching it because I thought it looked like a low budget sort of thing. But then I was having lunch with a friend of mine and they said, it's Sons of Anarchy with Vikings. And I'm like, well, okay, I'm on board. And I started watching Vikings and I loved it. And Travis Fimmel, who of course was also then starred in World of Warcraft, was great in it. As a matter of fact, he was so good in it, I stopped watching the show when his character died. Wow. <laughs> I just kind of lost interest in the show because he was the main character. Well, then he kind of reappeared again on HBO for Raised by Wolves. I thought he had a really interesting character on Raised by Wolves, yep. even if I didn't love the show all that much. But I guess HBO liked him because he's back. According to a report here in Variety, Travis Fimmel has joined the upcoming Dune prequel series What's it called again? The Sisterhood? The Sisterhood. The Sisterhood is coming. This comes to us from Variety Writes. Travis Fimmel has joined the prequel series Dune, The Sisterhood at HBO Max. The show is set 10,000 years before the events of Dune and is based on the novel Sisterhood of Dune by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Per the official logline, the show follows the Harkonnen sisters, Emily Watson and Shirley Henderson, as they combat forces that threaten the future of humankind and establish the fabled sect known as the Bene Gesserit. Fimmel will star as Desmond Hart, described as a charismatic soldier with an enigmatic past who seeks to gain the Emperor's trust at the expense of the Sisterhood. Bum, bum, bum. So he's oh, going to be wow. kind of be an antagonist. Just look at that's the face of an antagonist right there. If I'm buying a hot dog at a baseball game and that guy's selling it to me, I'm not trusting it. I'm thinking something's a little bit shady. Anyway. You and I view this man very differently. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll buy multiple. I'll pay call it. That's great. Anyway, uh, Chris, mm -hmm. uh, you hear this. Uh, what do you think about uh, the addition of Travis to Sisterhood? You know, I have to be completely honest. Vikings was not a show that I watch regularly because of all the eye violence in it. It is. Oh, some, there's yeah, a lot there's of so eye much. violence. And, and horrific and realistic. Um, and as you all know, that is my thing that I can't deal with. That is my spiders for Aaron, right? Um, but my husband was obsessed with this show and he would show me certain clips when we needed to practice Norse dialects. Being married to another actor is weird, you guys. This is what we do for fun. <laughs> um, but he adores him and has really followed his career since this show. And he's a big Dune fan, so I know he's going to be really, really excited. You know, it's never a bad idea to add talent. He's a tremendous actor. I mean, the he... I know I just he talked about so how good looking good he is, role. but like he is so intense and does such wonderful, just little micro expressions with his face. He's going to be really interesting to watch in anything he does. So sign me up for this one. I had curiosity when you were with, for the parts of Vikings you did see, did mm -hmm. you ever see the blood Eagle? No. Oh, <laughs> that, I, and it's a real thing. I, 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 if I remember correctly and guys in the live chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but the blood Eagle was like the ultimate kind of punishment and test for Viking where basically they would have you on your knees and they'd tie your, your wrists up. Mm -hmm. And then they would take an ax and cut open your back and pull your back open what? and then use the ax to hatch it off your ribs from your spine. And if you scream, if you die, if you don't scream out in pain before you die, you get to go to Valhalla. I know what I'm and doing this weekend. <laughs> Oh my God, Going to Valhalla. Awful. I, like, Valhalla. The most man. aggressive thing I've ever done in my life is spatchcock a chicken. So like this show is not for me. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is. It's I, when you take the spine out of a chicken. Oh, okay. oh or, yeah. you. Oh, what? When I oh, dead, you guys. Oh, what the okay. hell? Oh, you okay. monster. Cooking. This is, this I know how to debone it because of Masterclass. Thanks, Gordon Ramsay. But uh, yeah, you would you would have a very hard time oh, no, with it's the not for me. scene. It, it's it was not like, for me. even for me, I was a little bit squeamish. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this casting. What do you think? Well, I mean, I, I find it an interesting choice because, you know, it, Dune, Dune and Dune Part Two, are based on Frank Herbert's original six Dune novels, actually the first Dune novel. And The Sisterhood is based on a book that his son wrote with Kevin J. Anderson. So it's not, I guess it, it's, I just don't think of it as canonical. That's just me. That said, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood, they, in the Dune novels, are the ones that have been manipulating bloodlines for millennia to create the Kwisak Sadarak, the perfect being. And so to see how that all comes into play. Sometimes I think, I think we should have nerd subtitles for when you speak, but please, go, but which I think is awesome, by the way. So yeah. please continue. Well, I love it. The well, Nerdrack Sadarak, well, uh, which everybody Kwisak knows. Sadarak. So <laughs> the, the, I think it's really cool that they're going back to see the beginnings of the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. I think that's really a great way to go. 
because it doesn't interfere with the Paul Atreides story. And I think this is really great casting. Although he looks to me with his icy blue eyes like mm. a Fremen. Like he's already been imbibing the spice. He does Arrakis. have ice. You said so many words that I know you're trying to talk to me with, but I don't know what they mean. <laughs> yeah, can you I know imagine? that I know that the spice must flow. That's all I've got. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Clearly, I, you're not the woman I thought you were. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Today is oh. shady today at the it's John Fan. How much of it being yeah. dished out? Anyway, uh, you know what? Like, this is how good he is. Mm. He was the most watchable part above that Warcraft movie. He was the absolute most watchable part yeah. of it. He, he, I, I mean, he almost made it work. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about the casting of Travis for The Sisterhood, the new Dune prequel? I'm actually really looking forward to it. I, I Obviously, I love the first movie. Can't wait for the second one. See what they continue it on with. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and leave us your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables, and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really need in my system, and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens, and I literally take it every morning. You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it, and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will absolutely actually absorb like athletic greens so right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop and a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health to make it easy athletic greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.